Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Trishon. I'm the owner of Big Doe Hair Extensions. I sell raw and neat hair, and I call free edge tamer and also sell mink lashes. This is one of our custom shirts. Can you see that, guys? Let me see. Oh, sorry, sitting down. But I wanted to come to you guys today um, because I wanted to talk about balance in business. So that's kind of our topic for today. Um, I kind of just wanted to shed some light on how it really is to start a small business and still have the responsibility of going to work and taking care of your family. So it, it can feel like a lot at times. Um, initially, I would kind of do everything at night. So during the day, I would go to work, I would take care of my kids, I would do what I needed for them. And at nighttime, I would do everything that I needed to do for my business because I felt like I was missing so much time during the day that I needed to get back. That's really how I felt. Um, but it's really kind of not healthy to do that because you need sleep, you need rest to be able to function the best way that you can possibly function. So I started to feel it. And so even though I still do some stuff at night, I tell myself to go to sleep. You know, I tell myself to go to sleep. I try to do what I can on my lunch break at work. Um, weekends, I try to get a lot done early in the morning before my kids wake up. So it's all about kind of just trying to figure out what works and trying to find that balance. If you see me looking down, I just kind of jotted down some notes so that I can um, keep myself kind of on target because sometimes I can go on a tangent or I can lose my train of thought. Um, so... When I first started my business, I started March 1st, um, and I had so much energy. You know, this is my new business, my baby, like I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, and I, I'm not gonna say that I lost that momentum, but sis is tired, like I'm tired. And I love doing this, but when I started, you know what I mean? I felt like I, I didn't realize how much my life would change as far as the way that I think. So when I first started this business, you know, yes, I was excited to start a business because, you know, I really do want to get to a place where I am, you know, I have financial freedom. So that's my ultimate goal. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would be to juggle a business and still have my day-to-day -day responsibilities. You know, I have a day job you know that day job pays my bills but here I am kind of feeling like well if I don't devote the same amount of time to my business I'm never going to be able to let go of my day job so it's a constant battle with that you know trying to put the time into your business because if you don't put the time into your business who's going to do it you know and that's the difference between having a business and having a job you're not solely responsible um, for what happens at your employer but when it's your business you're 100% responsible for everything and that can be very daunting I'm, I'm gonna be real about it that can be very daunting so just trying to find that balance and I'm slowly kind of following that ba that balance but it is it is kind of difficult I'm not even gonna lie um, you know, my kids have extracurricular activities and they're important. I cannot deny them of my attention. I cannot deny them of their extracurriculars. That wouldn't be fair, you know? So it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And I feel like that is why everybody does not have a business. It's not for everybody. You have to have a strong mind in order to do this. You know, there are going to be times where you're making sales. There are going to be times where you're not making one sale. And you have to be mentally strong. That's why people get in business and before you know it, they don't have a business anymore. They're not strong. Like, and I don't mean to say it in that way, but it is what it is. If everybody, you know, could run a business, we would all have businesses. And we know that's not the truth. So um, I think it takes a, a special kind of person and a, a certain kind of mindset to be able to do this. I really, really do. But I don't want people to get discouraged. Like if it's something that you really want to do and you're passionate about it, even if you're not seeing the results that you want to see, even if it's hard, stick at it, be consistent. Like it's going to work out for you. And that's what I have to tell myself all the time. I got to tell myself that. I will also encourage you all to pray. Pray over your business. Um, 
you know, ask other people to pray for your business. You feel me? Get into the word and see what lines up with having a business because there is word. You know what I mean? If you're, you know, spiritual like that, if you're not, that's that's fine too. This channel was for everybody. Um, but those are some things that you can do. Journal. When I first started my business, I journal everything. You know, I journal how I felt about this. Oh, I ran a sale and this is the result that I got. I journal everything. Um, it just helps me kind of process and, you know, it just, it really just helps me also just to see where I'm going, you know, it just, just jotting that down, something about jotting it down, being able to see it, being able to look at it, it just helps me, um, it just helps me, so that's something that you all could think of, I just really felt like coming to you guys and putting this out there, because it all looks good, you know, when you're first running a business, everybody wants to run a business, but it's hard, you know, that's all I got though, guys.